Do carbs make you fat? No, but I understand why people think that. Hey, I'm Matt from Matt Lane Fitness. Let's clear this up. So you cut carbs and you lose five pounds and you're like, holy hell, it's happening. Yes! And then you eat one bowl of pasta and then Tuesday you're up six pounds and you're like, you know what? I think I'm done with this dieting crap. My God, I did, is this bad? You're not broken. Your metabolism didn't betray you. Your body just refilled its gas tank. You see, carbs are the body's fuel. When you eat them, your muscles store them for later, like topping off your gas tank before a road trip. For every bit of fuel, your body hangs on to water, about three parts of water for every one part carb. So when you cut these carbs, your body dumps water. Yeah, the scale drops fast, but that's not fat leaving your body. That's hydration leaving the chat. Then when you eat the carbs again, your body's like, dope, fuels back, AKA refuels the tank and brings the water with it. The scale goes back up, but your fat didn't happen magically overnight. The only way to gain fat is by eating more total calories than your body burns. It doesn't matter if it's carbs, proteins, fats, or deep fried shame whenever the fare comes through. Here's how you can use carbs in a good, better, and best way. Good would be just to focus on the calories because carbs aren't the villain here. Better would be to pick carb sources that are more whole. Rice, fruit, potatoes. Why? It's because these have less calories than hyper-processed foods. And best would be to focus on eating some of those carbs around your workout time. That way you're fueled for that workout. If you want to continue to eat carbs and also lose fat, click this right here. It's the fast food fat loss blueprint. Lose the weight without losing the drive-through. At checkout, it's gonna be completely free. Better than yesterday, every day.